Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be packing to move out, which is kind of crazy. So basically, got some luggage, gonna pack it with all of my stuff that I can really fit in them. <laughs> I feel like I should explain some things because you guys really don't know anything that's going on. Basically, right now I live in Texas and I'm moving up to Washington in a few weeks, a couple weeks somewhere around there. I wanted to move there my whole life and now it's finally happening. I'm excited. So basically, I'm going to be taking all my stuff and packing it up and then we're leaving July 6th on a road trip. Kind of have to pack up my whole room. I'm not taking any furniture or anything with me. We are taking my car, which is very small. This is the first step of the move, so I thought it'd be fun to make a video on it. Step number one, I need to actually figure out what I need to pack. I'm leaving in a week from now, but we're gonna be pretty busy, so I have to try to get the majority of the packing done right now. But obviously, I'm not gonna be able to pack stuff that I need on a daily basis, like my makeup. I got this whole pile of stuff that was hanging in my closet that I'm probably gonna bring on the trip. I'm gonna get everything else out in my drawers that I want to bring as well. duffel bag looks like so far so I put all the clothes in it and I rolled them up since it really saves space I can really fit a lot more things in like I can even make what's already in here more compact so that's really good because I am gonna have more stuff Whatever. Okay, yes, I'm for sure bringing this. This is so cute. Probably won't need this on my road trip though. So I guess I can put this in here. Next off is shoes. So I have some in here that I don't wear too often. I wonder what I ever wear these. I don't really know. I guess I'll just put these in here. I have Christmas stuff, which I really want to bring some of. And I have like a whole nother giant bin of it under my bed. But I'm going to pack that stuff last because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to take. Oh, and I have even more Christmas stuff in here. I have so much Christmas stuff. Okay, we'll get back to that. Do I really need any of this? Oh my gosh. This is kind of hard. I don't really know like what I'm going to want. It's obvious with some stuff whether I need to bring it or not, but with other stuff, I'm just like, I don't know. Do I actually need to bring it? Hello guys, today is another day. It's actually the day before moving out. It's currently 6 something p.m. So it's getting kind of late already and I need to pack. I haven't done any all day because I've been busy doing a lot of other things. I ended up not packing any more than I did on the other day when I filmed. I did think of some more stuff to pack, so I'm going to do that. Also, I'm kind of getting stressed because I have to get some videos done since I'm going to be the one driving on the road trip, so it's just crazy. I guess we'll just get a bag and start packing up my room. Room. I think we'll use this one. We got all this room. This bag has a lot of, oops, okay. This bag has a lot of pockets and it has this thing to hold down any clothes or anything that I don't want slipping around. I think I'm going to work on packing up my desk and my bookshelf first. Alrighty, I think that these pockets will work perfectly for organizing the small stuff that I have in here as well as in this cabinet. Keep waiting for you to take my call. I just took out everything that was in this cabinet of my desk, so I'm going to go through it. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to go through it all. First part of the room to go through. Let's do it. It's been 
pretty good so far. I do have a lot more to do though. The other day when I was packing, I had no clue what to pack, but now that I'm just packing up all of the stuff I use, my desk and everywhere else, there's actually quite a bit. I finally got the small carry-on suitcase fully packed. Every part of it is filled. I'm gonna try zipping it up. Hopefully it works. Oh no. It is full. I'm just gonna have to remove some stuff. Bottom line. Okay, there we go. Wow, this is so heavy. We got this stuff from the suitcase and I was finally able to get it to zip close. Like I'm making an action plan for the rest of the packing so I can get all this stuff done. Got a notepad to write this down on. It's currently 8.30. It's getting kind of late. So, let me make a list. The list has been made right here. I still have so much to do. So I'm gonna have to get going and try to do this as fast as I can because I do not want to be sleep deprived for the trip. Let's do it. Step one is to fold all my clothes that I just washed and then I will pack those and the other clothes in my room. <laughs> Date. It's currently 9.30 and I just finished packing all my clothing into the big suitcase and then the duffel bag for the road trip. This bag is almost full. It does have a little room. So I think that I'm going to take off the string lights here and then the ones above my bed and pack those. So then I have some lighting for my room when I get there. I'm also going to get a screwdriver. So then once I take off the fairy lights, I'm going to disassemble the clothing rack so then I can pack it up. You know, disassembling IKEA furniture is a lot easier than assembling it. But I mean, this clothing rack is actually like probably the easiest thing in IKEA to assemble. Now that it's in bars, this will be perfect to put it back in my trunk. We're on the final stretch. We don't have too much more to do. I'm just going through the bins that are in my bookshelf because they have a lot of stuff in them. Yeah, I know. I'm her second favorite person in my car. Rizzy, look over here. <gasps> Good girl, you Rizzy. look so cute. Rizzy. This is kind of what my room looks like right now. So again, I have a lot of my stuff on my desk still. I did take off my makeup mirror and some books and just different things like that. But I have most of the decorations still up. I am taking my speaker and water bottle with me. But again, I don't have too much space because of how small my car is. I'm going to use some cleaner and a rag and just wipe down all my shelves and surfaces so then they're actually clean. Now <laughs> you're covering up all the stuff you're setting down. You know, sometimes she just walks in front of the camera and completely blocks everything. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. Okay, so I didn't show before, but here is what the drawer looks after clearing it out. This whole drawer was filled with stuff. It was just all piled up, so it looks a lot better now. I do definitely need to clean it out though with some cleaning spray. I just cleaned this out and it looks so much better. I sprayed it out with some cleaner and used a rag and then I rinsed it out. Now it looks great again. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll put it back in the cabinet. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. It is currently 11.29. 
p.m. I wanted to go to bed a few hours ago, but that clearly didn't happen. Now I have my necklaces and I'm not sure how to store them so they won't get tangled up. I got some paper towels and I think I'm gonna roll them up and then roll the necklaces around them. So hopefully they won't get tangled up, but we'll see. <laughs> midnight i'm exhausted but thankfully i am pretty much almost done with packing i have a little more i need to do but i'm just gonna do that in the morning be sure to subscribe to see that whole adventure going on a whole road trip also follow me on my social media so you can really see a lot of other stuff as well but yeah i hope you all have an amazing day i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye we are just about to leave on the road trip to move out Hello guys, we are in Hello California. guys. Yes, what in the blood. My car has a nail or something in the tire. No trespassing. Oh great, we're screwed. Uh, I fell over. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we drove for nine or ten hours today. I seriously, love Cali. Yeah.